well, you know, it's Monday, we've had an eclipse and there we are, there's an earthquake. So it's been quite the, quite the day. Tunstall Willis in the West End counts herself among the hundreds of CBS six viewers who say they felt the Monday night earthquake. I actually went upstairs and I was working and had my window open and I heard thunder. On Instagram and Facebook commented, and Glenn Allen woke me up but thought it was thunder. I'm in Innsbruck and I heard and felt something It scared my cat. Scared my dog too. Had to check if my kids fell out of their beds. It was so loud. The United States Geological Survey's website shows some as far west as Tappahannock and south to Midlothian experienced the quake. It was very fast, it was very quick. Monday's 2.1 magnitude earthquake about three miles north of Glen Allen pales in comparison to 2011, when a 5.8 magnitude earthquake rattled Louisa County, injuring some and destroying buildings. You might see another earthquake about this size or smaller in the same area here in the next few days. Longtime Virginia Tech professor of geosciences Matt Chapman tells me we live in the central Virginia seismic zone. Well, the fact that we know that central Virginia is an active area, we could say, okay, the probability of a damaging earthquake is larger in the area around central Virginia, in the central Virginia seismic zone, than it would be, say, down on the North Carolina-Virginia border. There is some good news. There were no reports of damages or injuries associated with Monday's earthquake. In Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.